not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new message to an unknown old great Frank and Widowmaker here, boys, coming to you live, all the way from the farm. The engine's out behind me, it's sitting in a trailer. I'm not sure if you can see it in the shot right now. Doesn't matter. All that matters is it's it, 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 it. That's all, folks. That's right. Doesn't matter. All that matters is it's not in the van anymore and it's ready to be rebuilt. So, all right, so as you can see, there's a cut right here. It goes all the way across the roof. The dash is removed right there, and the windshield is in the way. So what I'm gonna do right now is take the sawzall, cut through here, cut through there, and basically remove the whole windshield area, including the windshield, and that way I can get the engine up and out without going through the window. So let's do it. What do you think, good plan? I think it's a very good plan. All right. What Save you... that windshield, send her back to Howie. <laughs> I can see the camera shaking, it's so <laughs> cold today. I'm warmer now, but I'll be a lot warmer in a minute when I start vibrating on the end of the sawzall. You like that steering, eh? Oh, I like it. Yeah. I like the boot. The boot. <laughs> Got a boot what over it. the boot? Be brand new under there. Not one spoon a bundle. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the American people think we say a boot or a boat. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure we do. Well, this is a boot. That's a boot. That's a boot. Now, take your boot to a boat. <laughs> How's the boat? Too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to get some work done anyway. So that's the plan. I'm gonna find a nice, comfy spot to set the camera up, and you can watch for a minute. Look at the van. Oh, let's go for a booter on the track. <laughs> the van is now kind of not in half, but in a quarter. And uh, yeah, now you can see the engine. There's one half on the inside of the van. There's the other half inside the engine bay. Anyhow, now I'm going to chop this, chop that. Remove this. <laughs> the good news is, you still have one antique head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Someday that will make me rich on eBay. Well, there's about 50 more in the drive shed loft if that'll help you. Okay, that's my retirement fund glass headlights. <laughs> wow, that thing looks funny now. As you can see, the engine is now free. There's a rod right there that needs to be disconnected and removed. There's a few things, not too much. The Y pipe for the exhaust on each side of the engine and the transmission bell housing right there needs to be unbolted. Flywheel unbolted from the torque converter and all that good stuff and then we will lift it up with the engine lift. Push the van out of the way or drag it or whatever needs to be done. The engine will be sitting right here floating in the air and that will be that for this van. Well, I think that's already that for this van. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the insurance company would consider that a write-off. How to remove a windshield properly without breaking it. Absolutely zero chance of breaking your window doing it that way. Alright, I just had lunch and I'm back at it again, feeling more tired than when I left. But I need to get this done today, so I'm done hacking, chopping, sawing and chiseling. I'm ready to disconnect the transmission and the engine mounts and lift it up through the roof. Yes, sir. So my dad brought out the engine lift. I forgot that he bought that for $15 at the last auction we went to. We used to use that thing right there, the chain block. Anyhow, we don't use that anymore. We use this now. So it's all ready to go. I just have to uh, undo a few more things here. It's not really a great shot to show you. I'm going to be undoing bolts here, here, there, a few down below, split it, then there's four bolts on the torque converter to separate it from the flywheel. Mm. 
Meter, I'm how you say it, that's stupid. I tried to take the engine out with the bolt still in the hole for the mount. Testy, what's going on behind me? Oh, I'm Corona safe now. I can't see where this but I'm Corona safe. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's working on. He's over here getting the old bulldozer, or not bulldozer, I should be shot for that one. <laughs> getting the old backhoe ready. The old truck hoe needs some repairs and some welding here and there. So that's what he's working on right now. Anyhow, we'll let him do that and I'm going to pop my engine out. Alright, so if you look down here you can see the bell housing's unbolted from the engine block. I have her split right there. There's a gap. Don't ever put your finger in there because it could get pinched and you could lose it. Anyhow. Whoa. Did you hear that? That's exactly why you don't put your finger where it doesn't need to be. Okay, so we should be going up now. Well, my girlfriend left me and went back to Kingston, swore she'd never need another man. <laughs> Two days later she called me up and she's doing the best she can. He's a dandy. <laughs> She's a dandy. I do. I gotcha. <laughs> oh, she's I out. Gotcha. Ooh, yes. What happened? Always be careful. Try never to lose your head, <laughs> especially your hammerhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just seen it fly right there. There Good it is. Good thing I'm not real fond of this body. <laughs> Good thing. Good. Oh no, not the cab corner. Look at how good it is. Oh, it's beautiful. For the age, oh yeah. Uh, Does this truck still have that big snorting engine in it? Does it have? Big snorting engines in my '56 Ford. Oh yeah, that's right. Is there any? I think engine? it's a 390 with 312 heads on. Uh oh. No, that six cylinder in there's going in. Oh, perfect. Cheaper to run a six cylinder when you're doing backhoe. Oh, this you rebuilt this one, eh? Aha. Uh -huh. Now I see what's going on. Yeah, so my dad rebuilt this engine and she's going in the truck hoe. And what sucks is... So what sucks is this battery is dead again. We got a lot of clips today. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing that the battery is dead. Anyhow, that van is ready to be backed up and leave its engine in place. Don't worry, I won't do it without you. And I kind of did, kind of didn't. Uh, the engine's up, but it's not exactly out. That's where the engine was. That's where the engine is now. Out of the van, exactly where I needed it to be. Well, not quite. I need it to be rebuilt in the other van, but I'm halfway there, I guess. Anyhow, you can see my dad's $15 engine hoist works just dandy. Awesome unit right there. Anyhow, the plan now is to back up the van out from underneath the engine. Now I have no brakes. No, I got Flintstone brakes right here. I oh, have a double put deer. my leg down there, you may lose it. Well, that's the chance you, know you got to take. No, why Brandy limps. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, your no-cylinder van. She's a V0. Anyhow, there's your van. That was the plan. She's done. Now it's time to rebuild an engine. Well, first I have to order all new gaskets and seals and stuff for it. But after that, I have to take off everything I'm not using because I'm going to rebuild the top end and clean up the bottom end and put all brand new alternator, water pump, tensioners, all that stuff. Everything's going to be new. New distributor, cap, new distributor and rotor, coil, modulator, everything. So, by the time you're done seeing this engine, it's going to be a brand new engine. Comment, rate, subscribe, share the video, and dislike if you're a dork. Villains, I say to you now, 
Knock off all that evil!